guys, so I'm home from school and unfortunately I have a disappointing surrogacy update. So I went to my appointment today, nervous as all hell, and this the technician, the ultrasound technician, she checked my uterus lining, everything was perfect. It's it's something like 10 millimeters or something, and it has a tri-pattern which is like beyond amazing. And so my follicles were small, I was really excited, but unfortunately my hormone levels came back not great. My progesterone is slightly elevated and the doctor is worried that I may have ovulated through the medication. Now if that is what happened, then we're going to have to cancel this transfer and aim for next month or within the next two months. Um, which is really disappointing because we're six, almost five days away from the original transfer date. Um, so they scheduled an impromptu appointment for me to go to Thousand Oaks, which is two and a half hours away from me, three and a half if traffic is bad, uh, tomorrow morning. Um, so that the doctor could check me out, do an ultrasound, run my blood test tomorrow. I asked if I could go to the local monitoring clinic and the nurse coordinator said no. He absolutely wanted to see me in person and check out my ovaries and everything. So you know, doctor's orders. Um, so yeah, I scheduled. It was really hard to find someone to go with me last minute because um, I didn't want to make the long distance trip alone and also I didn't have anyone to watch Amelia so my wonderful friend offered to come with me last minute um, she works all night and she goes to school on her time off so she is exhausted but she offered to go with me at first she offered to take Amelia and then I was like you know I'm really nervous about making this trip alone and she's like, you know what, I'm going to go with you. And I was like, thank you so much. So tomorrow I get to wake up at 6.30 a.m. I already have everything packed. I already got gas. I already got everything. Go pick up my friend and drive all the way to Thousand Oaks, which is an L.A. area, which is means L.A. traffic. So yay for Becca. And I, I've been a nervous wreck all day. I cried and cried and cried. I've been a nervous wreck. I just... It's hard to be hopeful, but what we are hoping for is that my levels have not gone any further up, and if they have, that there are no mature follicles. So yeah, it's pretty depressing. I honestly did not expect this. What I may have expected to go wrong is that my lighting was not where it should be. I did not see this coming, and it's very disappointing and I just hope that tomorrow is better news so I'm trying to be positive not really hopeful because I kind of expect to have bad news but just positive about the day try to make it a good day with my friend a good road trip and um, we'll be back in town by 1 30 so yeah anyways that is my update uh, I'll let you guys know what happens tomorrow be ready for disappointing news but I mean you know what if it's pushed back a month at least it's still happening god willing so yeah thanks for watching see you guys in my next video